Still ahead on the update tonight, a visit with this week's Wednesday's Child. And on our special Focus 4 report tonight, we're going soaring in an F-4 Phantom Jet on a mock bombing raid over the Gulf of Mexico. Don't miss it. New Center 4 is brought to you by San Antonio Savings with offices near where you live, work, and shop. Alan, as you told us just a few minutes ago, tonight at 10 in a special Focus 4 report, Renee Gonzalez is going to show us what it's like to fly a supersonic F-4 Phantom. Renee will tell us about a recent flight he and photographer Jerry McGallagher took on a bombing mission over the Gulf of Mexico. He'll also tell what it's like to take the controls of a fighter bomber that can fly at two and a half times the speed of sound. That's to Climbing a mountain or breaking a record are all the kinds of experiences that uh, we remember the rest of our lives, to be sure. Renee Gonzalez had such an experience recently when he flew in an F-4 Phantom jet. He's still flying high over that experience, and in tonight's Focus 4 report, he shares that ride with us. Thursday, August 12th, began early for photographer Jerry McGallagher and me, the day the Texas Air National Guard's 149th Tactical Fighter Group would give us a ride in an F-4, a fighter bomber that can fly at two and a half times the speed of sound. You stand up all the way? Yeah. Fine. Okay. Right, okay. okay. Well, sit down here, please. Okay. While Phil Moore made sure we were properly dressed for the occasion, pilots were going over our mission, bombing an enemy ship in the Gulf of Mexico while flying 500 miles an hour, 200 feet above the water. South of town, we're going to make a, uh, a southwesterly, southeasterly leg till we hit Corpus Christi. We will overfly the city of Corpus. Even as we taxi for takeoff, the checklist continue. Our radio call sign is Pinto 11. Houston Center, Pinto 11. Pinto 11. My pilot is Lieutenant Colonel Clarence Reynolds. The uh, thrust on each engine is about 11 pounds, but with the afterburner, makes it 17. So that's a lot of extra thrust. The only problem is it burns four times the amount of gas. A final check by the ground crews and the moment arrives. We're ready for takeoff. Suddenly I feel pushed against my seat and the pressure multiplies as the afterburners kick in. In seconds, we're going over 100 miles an hour. The wheels on the F-4 next to me smoke from the heat built up by the tremendous speed. Our mission is to go out and find uh, Soviet ships and to either sink them or disable them. In 24 minutes, we're over Corpus Christi. Time to get down just above the water. In a real situation, we would, uh, if we were really going into attack a ship, we'd be just as close to the water as we can get. Mm -hmm. That's just so he can't see us on his radar. Right. Once he picks you up on radar, then he's got those radar missiles and radar guns. Mm -hmm. They're pretty hard to defeat. Our cameras can't see the target ahead, but when the bombs are dropped, the F-4 banks away to keep the low profile over the water. G-forces multiply within seconds. My 190 pounds jump to nearly 700. I begin to perspire. I can't move my head or my arms. The G-suit squeezes my legs, keeping the blood supply to my brain so that I don't pass out. The three to four Gs seem to last forever during the bank, but in 15 seconds or so, it's over. Everything is back to normal again. To my surprise, I want to do it again. We do, but in a few moments, we're on our way home. It's then I get the biggest kick of all. Renee, would you like? Yes, sir. I sure would. OK, you got the airplane. Uh, you have to just push your nose right on over. Yep. You, won't, you won't hurt the airplane. Just do whatever you got to do to get it inside. You uh, done some flying in uh, light aircraft? No, sir. No? Yeah. Oh. You're doing a real good job. It was over all too soon. In an hour and a half, we took off, flew 118 miles south of Corpus Christi, made our bomb run, and returned to Kelly. A once-in-a-lifetime adventure for me, a daily event for pilots of, pilots of the Texas Air National Guard. Every day they fly, keeping men and machine at their peak ready in case they're needed, convinced that jet noise is the sound of freedom. Renee Gonzalez, New Center 4.